benefits of reading la ilaha Lala. as a key to entering the heavens as quoted in from the prophet pbuh that has also said whoever ends his words before death is la ilaha illallah then he will enter heaven h r abu dawud 1621 the daikra is also one of the best daikra to recite as it is full of good deeds the daikra would bring you closer to jannah and away from hell the prophet said that prophet pbuh had said that reciting the daikra could bring us good rewards while erasing our sins it protects you from the flames of hell as stated by umar ra and the prophet pbuh indeed i will teach you a sentence no servant pronounces it from his heart and then dies on that belief unless forbids his body from the fire of hell that is the sentence la ilaha illallah h r hakim shohi targib wa tarhib 1528 reciting the dyke outright would give you a guaranteed pass to enter heaven the outright recitation would also need to be accompanied with activities of the Muslims to also prevent them to do things that are haram, H.R. At Tabarani, La Laha Ilallah is daikr and intercessor of prayer, as it is always encouraged to be read by Prophet, Musa. Reciting the daikr would postpone the doomsday as it is said that the doomsday would not occur as long as there's someone who still recite La Ilaha Illallah. Reciting the daika one hundred times a day would also equal to the reward of freeing ten slaves and writing for him a hundred good deeds, and erasing from him a hundred bad things. This daika would also protect the Muslims who recite it from the devil's disturbance.